1935. Noel Connor, since I was 10 or 11, I suppose. He, well, 11, so he was only born. I, I'd have been friends with his father. Okay. Years ago, he would have looked after me under Ed Hurling and stuff. So. Jeez, I'd known him since he was a baby. I used to see him growing up, but an unbelievable boxer. Well, I'd never forget when I'd, he'd be embarrassed by this. But. <laughs> Like, um, he comes in, and it was the start of September, was it? Yeah. Like in, and he'd been down, he was on rail underage for Harlan, like he was a go few years ahead of himself, and he uh, came in bawling, crying, and I said, what's wrong with you, have you hurt yourself? He says, no, Basil, I have to give up, I have to concentrate on Harlan. So that was it, he packed it in then and picked Harlan over, but sure, it hasn't been a bad move for him, I suppose. No. Basil just came to me there, um, six weeks ago. Sure, six weeks ago, yeah, just, to get ready for this fight. Um, and I suppose from from the background I was in, even playing playing hurling and stuff like that, I just kind of took a different approach to maybe stuff that he'd been doing before. Um, try to change it up a little bit, try to see what could work for him. And um, um, I was saying to Niall initially when we just had a chat to come in, if he trains the way he boxes, like you see the stuff that we've done today, it's kind of, a lot of it is kind of boxing related or, kind of single arm related or single shoulder related. So you're not just getting generally stronger, you're getting stronger, you know, with little finer details. He's good look out, out of his losses. He's lost, uh, only lost uh, Kevin Johnson, Kevin Kingpin Johnson, who bet David Price. Um, Dominic Brazil, who's fought for a world title three times now, and and Ruiz, who's the who's the king at the minute, top yeah. of the mountain. So he's been in with a far greater level than me, but this is a crossroads fight. Listen, if I don't deserve to be at the top table, this will tell me. If I do deserve to be up there, this will tell me. Me winning this fight puts me in against the top ten. You know, top. I'm not saying I'll be in the top ten, but it gets me the opportunity to t test myself against them. Like, it's fantastic to see someone that you've seen grow up, achieve that, and see come in and and um, runs tell you little things that he's aimed for. Like so, from that point of view, it was brilliant. You're you're looking back on on the summer itself, and you're thinking, right? If you were asked at the start of the year or you're told at the start of the year you're going to win a Leinster final, you took someone's hand off. Yes, three weeks later you get narrowly beaten in an other semi-final. Where you think, you know, ten minutes to go, geez, we're in with a right chance here. Like, It's tough, tough pill to swallow now, to be honest. But um, looking back very on raw, it... It's very sharp. Yeah. It's very sharp. Very sore to it. <laughs> but uh, no, listen, it's, it, it has been a, a great year. Five seconds, come on, get two more in. I think everyone probably knows now how mad and Jeez. unreal the Wexford fans are anyway. So, um, yeah, it's it's obviously, Niall has mentioned pride a good bit. Like, that's that's all you feel, really, when you're running out in Crow Park for me anyway. Mm -hmm. Once the first bell goes, I'm sure you feel the same. Yeah, I, I'm very proud of where I'm from and, and what I've come from and the people around. And, and then this town, this town, blows my mind with the goodness in it. Like you've you've drove through Gory today, the colour in the town and what Davy Fitz has done for the passion of Wexford J and, and just Wexford people in general. It's brightened mm. up the whole town and the county, hasn't it? It's yeah. just it's been a phenomenal summer like and hopefully I drag the summer out a little bit into September please God and and we finish off on a hype.